Hi guys, Tivik here and welcome to episode 12 of Minecraft Season 3. So, uh, in the last episode we uh, constructed, don't look at that, uh, we constructed this here part which is slowly creating seed oil. It's actually run out of seed uh, seeds because this one isn't producing fast enough. But I think that'll be fine. Um, between episodes, I have created these two uh, coke ovens. I want to increase these to four, but that means I would have to move the tree farm, and I don't want to do that yet. I could, in theory, place one. I could probably build on top, I suppose. But, yeah, we'll see. Um, I want to set this one up now, though, um, to work. And as you can see in my inventory, I've prepared something uh, there. Let's grab a stack of oak. Um, I am starting to run out of space. I'll show you. Is that a creeper? No. Um, this one here is full, so any overflow wood is going into there, which is quite sad. But we're going to have to live with that. Uh, I did make it an iron chest. Uh, what I want to do now, though, um, there it is. I want to get from my tool bag, which I actually lost again, so I had to remake some of the tools. I can't remember what I had. So, in this here, let's say keep a stack. And in this here, keep a stack. And do partial requests. And now, these will soon be full of wood. There it comes. That's a stack. And... That's a stack. Perfect. Now, these will keep producing creosote oil and charcoal. Uh, and put the creosote in the iron tank, which I will probably have to expand or build another one. Uh, because this is only 720 buckets. But that's a lot, you say. Yes, it is. But it will still use up a lot of it. So, um, now I want to make something a bit fun. Yes, I am finally making myself the nano suit. Because I'm tired of dying from enemies when I go hunting. Uh, there we go. And these... How are they? There we go. Nanosuit boots. They need to be charged though, and this poor charging table will now be draining very quickly. But it is filling up. I also want to uh, make the advanced lap pack. So we're gonna need a Lapitron crystal and advanced circuits. Let's start with this. That's just two electric circuits. I can manage that. Let's uh, request up uh, two of those. I'm gonna need. What was it again? We're actually gonna need another one of those. We're gonna need um, six of those and one for the crystal. And then we're gonna need um nine of these and a whole bunch of that. Oh, that's probably too much, but yeah, that will work. And uh, let's see, this will be for those. Let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, a bit too much. Um, that's three of these. Three electric circuits. Perfect. Now we need to make one energy crystal. And let's see. That will need six lapis. I'm not sure that this will work with this charging bench, but I do hope so. And there we go, and we have a nice suit of armor on. Um, uh, 
and we have a Labaton crystal. And we use the Labaton crystal with an advanced circuit. So we're going to need another four redstone, two glowstone, and two lapis. There we go. Two of those, two of those, and four of those. Um, yeah, it's just like that. There we go. Advanced lap pack. This one can hold a lot, but it is charging in this. That's good. It does hold a million EU, so I should be doing pretty good with that. Look at that. Nice armor at full. Um, wow, this is totally going to drain my poor machine here. I had to start the generator because I was running out of energy, but wow. Look at that. And it's done. Let's uh, dump this back and this can go there. Advanced lap pack. This will last me for a very long time even if I start digging out grass. So I expanded this area as well. I need to put some sort of uh, fence gate there. This building here is going to be uh, the bee processing facility. So I'm going to need an iron tank in there and a few more things. But, ooh, it shows the energy level now. That's very nice. I could almost get rid of the display in the bottom left now and just show the tools. Will this charge fully? Almost there. There we go. Excellent. 100% energy. I like it. So, I've also dug out a space below here. Let me show you. There we go. This is going to be for my boiler. Yes, I have a lot of projects going right now. And, oh, awesome, we're getting grass down here. <laughs> um, this will be the boiler, and these blocks of grass there will be the engines. Uh, it's going to be industrial uh, the industrial steam engines. So we're going to need steel for them. Oh, wait, no. It's going to be the commercial steel. Um, so we're going to need iron plates and pistons. So it's nothing really major, but uh, yeah. However, I want to start out. Let's see, is it working? Oh, awesome. We already have a bucket of creosote. We're going to have a lot of charcoal from this. And that's uh, something that I will be storing up in. Mm, it can go in there. I wonder if I can burn this in in uh, the boiler. Let's um, look at making the boiler, shall we? Um, the boiler needs a fire box. A solid fuel one. So we're gonna need fire charges, a couple of them. Ooh, blaze powder. We're gonna need coal, gunpowder, and blaze powder. How am I for blaze powder? Did I actually get any? Blazes. I don't actually think I did. I probably lost it when I died. Oh dear. That means I have to go to the nether. I'm gonna do that off camera for you guys so you don't have to watch me yell and scream and die all the time. Um, oh yeah, I also made a new diamond pickaxe, and it's not as good as efficiency, efficiency 4, fortune 2, and unbreaking 3, but it's not bad either. I mean, it's a pretty good solid pickaxe, so we're going to be using that one for, for the cool stuff. But first, let's sleep. Oh yeah, I did request a couple of things, didn't I? 
Alright, so I am going to head to the nether, and I will see you once I am done there. Um, oh yeah, I need to breed the cows as well. Um, oh, look at that. Come here, where did you go? Ah, that sucked. Oh well. Um, yeah, I will head to the nether, and I will see you once I am done there. Oh yeah, I thought I'd show you how much more survivability we have with this nano suit. Come here, spawn. They're spawning very slowly. What I want to do is I want to keep killing these. I've already got five blaze rods, um, and we're going to need a lot of them. So here's one. I'm on fire, but I'm not dead. Awesome, isn't it? So, what I want to do is, um, oh, is there another one there? There's also a magma slime, that's very nice. So, what I want to do is, I want to keep trying to get a silk touch pickaxe. I don't fight the withers. Pretty nasty little creatures. Um, yeah, I want to get a silk touch pickaxe so that I can get a blaze. Whoa, boom! Can I hit it back? No, let's not. Uh, if I can get a blaze spawner to the overworld, I could make a container with uh, water in it so that they get stuck. Let's see, where's the next one? So I feel a bit more secure now that I have a quite serious armor set. Come on. So yeah, I'm gonna keep killing here for a while and I'll see you once I'm back in the overworld. Oh, right, I'm back in the overworld, and I did realize that I said something that doesn't work before. You can't actually uh, move spawners that way. I would need to make a portal gun, but I don't have the portal gun mod installed, so there is a no-go for that. Oh, well. Um, I do have 14 blaze rods, though, and if I use them in a macerator, I'll get five, which is pretty good. Four in the pulverizer, so we're gonna go for the macerator. Um, for the blaze powder, we're gonna use... Um, yeah, we're gonna make some fire charges. So, let me craft that. There we go. Ten blaze powders should be good. There we go. Um, and what else are we gonna need? We're going to need gunpowder and uh, coal. So let's say two coal. Do we have gunpowder? Yes, we do. Four was it? No, it's just one. Oh well, um, that will work. Let's uh, make that two coal, two gunpowder, and two of those for three fire charges each. Now, bricks and ferni. Well, furnaces, I suppose. Yeah. What is actually the plural of furnace? We're gonna make four. One, two, three, four. And we are short of bricks by four of them. So let's get four clay. I could probably request bricks. I might... No, I don't. Let's just cook these. And four. We have four solid fueled firebox. Now these plates like this do nothing. I need the boiler on top. 
I did move uh, the rolling machine over here and for the low pressure boiler we need to have one for each. I'm thinking 12 so that's uh, 24 iron plates. We're gonna need a bunch of iron for that. Twenty-four would be how much? That's three of these. It's twenty-seven iron. Let's try that. There we go, and it's making one, and it's getting drained. This one will switch on because this has a job to do, and there we go, and it fills up slowly, and there we go. It's 12. Awesome. 12 low-pressure boilers. That will be awesome. Uh, I haven't actually used the boilers, so this might be a very cool explosion. We'll see. Um, I think I'll be fine. Uh, we're gonna use the aqueous accumulators we're also going to make. Uh, let's see, that's... There we go. We have the steam boiler and this is a very advanced little machine. Uh, Putting coal in there will start creating steam, and it's cool right now, so we need to add water. That's 48 buckets worth of water that we need to have in this machine. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place down below here, I'm going to make a little bit of a uh, hollow space. Um, I'm thinking down here. I know what you say, don't dig straight down, but I'll be fine. So, I'm gonna dig this area out. It's dark in here. Perfect. And the boiler is straight above here. And down here we're gonna have, I think, four aqueous accumulators, just to make sure that this one is completely fed with water. And the water will feed in from just below here. And uh, let me just double check on the boiler. Um, I think that... I'm just reading on it real quick here. Um, I don't know where you can put stuff in there. Uh, 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 uh. I think that we'll be able to put it just in... into one of the sides here. But if I have one in each corner... I'm imagining the blocks, well, the pipes coming up around it. Like up there and into the corner. Yep. Let's uh, make some aqueous accumulators. We're also going to need some stone waterproof pipe. As I was saying, I, I imagine something like this. And uh, this. Oops. We're gonna need to make some sort of axis down to here. Or this will be very difficult. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Can we attach? Yes, we can. <laughs> That's cool. Do like that. Uh, 
Okay, so the water will flow into from the bottom. Um, I could have just attached it to the bottom, I suppose, and left, left this closed, but... Nah, let's make some aqueous accumulators. Okay, we need to make the servos, and we need to make the machine frames. So let's uh, find our way up again. That can be tricky enough, I tell you. Are these still going, by the way? I went mining and had a lot of resources with me back, but uh, it's not. So we need four of those. We're gonna need about a stack of those. We might as well just get a bunch of that. We'll start with this. That's four machine frames. And the pneumatic servo requires redstone, so let's get some redstone. Um, just gonna need four. I'm also gonna need to make some bucket. buckets. There we go, and there, and there. We have the servos, we have the machine frames, we have the buckets, and we need tin. Eight of them. There we go. Tin and glass, and we have aqueous accumulators times four. We're also gonna need two more buckets. Now I can fill them using this machine here, which is actually quite quite lazy, but it works. And take two buckets out. I need to make more buckets for this machine. It can take... I know at least four can work. What's the stack size of buckets? <laughs> I don't know. But we do have the water buckets to make the infinite water sources. And let's make the excess path here. Uh, so it's going to be one, two, three, four, and then another few down. There we go. Something like that. Wow, that was good. Not bad at all. And now these are going to be placed in each corner here which means that the water needs to be around them um, I'm thinking one two three if I place the water there and the water there we have the infinite water source blocks Oh, there and uh, I'll just plug that. There we go. And we can use the bucket to make this. There we go. We have four accumulators. Um, Let's place the torches on the walls here. We don't want anything to spawn down here at all. Water, 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 and water. Now, this is probably overkill deluxe, but I'd rather be safe. We're gonna need another few of those. Uh, did I bring any wood? No. Uh, Uh, 
I think I have a spider up here. We need more waterproof pipes. Do I have waterproof pipes? Yes, I do. Um, and we are also going to need ladders, but I don't have any of that, so let's just request a couple of those and hit back up. Yes. So, I also have a very large amount of charcoal here, which I am going to... Hello, spider. How are we for creosote? Four and a half buckets. Not fast, but we are producing it. Let's uh, make a couple of these. Oh yeah. Dirt, I have plenty. Rock, I don't have a lot. Sand, I'm running low. But we should be pretty good, I think. There we go. And we will ladder this thing like so. There we go. And the waterproof pipes. to there. Now, down here I will also want to place a chunk loader so that the three chunks in the area around me keeps uh, loaded, keep themselves loaded. Um, so, yeah. Full of water. That kind of looks... yeah, I should probably change the shape of that. Doesn't really matter that much though. Um, actually, an iron waterproof would be nice now. Do I have those? No. Because I want to pipe stuff into this as well, so if I move this here... Well, it should work. That should actually work pretty well. Um, there we go. That's a less offensive shape. There we go. Actually, I can remove the torches from there because they're not doing anything. Um, now this baby will need some coal to fire up and I need to be able to take care of the steam. So let's craft the steam steam engine. We need three plates per engine and we're gonna make six engines. Where is the exit? There it is. We're also gonna need a couple of pistons. I do have some. Uh, but let's uh, let's make a bunch of pistons. that I can keep them in here. Um, four, four of those. Uh, there we go, and... Okay, that'll do. Four and two. And now for the commercial, we need iron gears, and I still have gears, so do I have... Well, I have uh, half the number of gears that I need to make. So let's request up some more wood, and uh, I'll craft the gears and stuff off camera, and I'll be right back. And time flies when you're having fun. I also forgot to make the gears into the correct type. My bad. Um, do I have more iron in here? Not enough for 12 gears. Um, let's uh, request a little bit more iron, and uh, then I'm going to have to end this episode. Um, we haven't really gotten very far, but um, um, 
we have started building the boiler, that's good. Um, let's see. Oh, I'm five, six, seven, eight, something short. Let's get ten. We're gonna need to make, um, uh, oh, what's it called? Uh, the magma creams, because we need to make blast furnace bricks for the blast furnace. And uh, that's gonna take a little while to farm for me, but we can get most of it very easily now, so. There we go, and the iron can actually go back. Um, let's uh, throw this on the ground so we can pick it up, and that goes in there. Uh, that's iron gears, pistons, glass, and one, two, three, four, five, six commercial steam engines. Let's uh, place them down. Oh, I'm. I almost forgot. They need to have power pipes as well. So let's get. That should actually do. about eight redstone. Redstone is something that I really run low off quickly. Um, but that's fine. Wooden conductive pipes. Perfect. Let's head down. And it's raining again. I need to get some bee products going so that I can set up the dissipation charge stuff so I don't have to worry about rain. Um, they go there, and the engines go just below. Oh, you're facing the wrong way. There we go. And this requires steam. I will pump the steam in from below here. We'll go straight out there and in underneath. And the same here. Why? see the middle should be there so there we go and like that I'm going to end the episode because I'm over over the 30 minute mark by far right now so that's gonna be it for this episode I hope you had fun uh, I'll keep on hooking this machine up in the next episode and uh, we'll explore some of the cool uh, items of uh, one of the mods that I've put in. Uh, I'll show you real soon in the next episode. Take care guys. Bye bye.